I was just watching a clip of a talk show that famous comedian Miss Pat um, was on. And she was talking about her finances and how she has boundaries around her money. She don't care if your family no is no. Her responsibility is the family that lives within her house, her children. And she also said something that, that really stuck out to me that I need more women to, to, to live by. She said she watches her money and she has no problem calling a venue or calling a company or whoever and saying, where is my check? Where is my money? Pay me what you're supposed to pay me. Now, I've done a little bit of acting, um, and the acting industry is a shaky industry. It's an industry built on quicksand. Um, so, when you're in the acting industry, it, it requires you to kind of go about certain things in good faith, especially when you're just starting out. I'm going to be honest with you for all you want to be experts when you're new to acting and you're just trying to get a gig to get some experience under your belt. There's always, there's not always going to be a formal contract involved. I know somebody's going to comment and say, that's why you always get a contract. That's why you always shut the fuck up. So just listen, um, those of you who are in the acting industry, you, you actually know what I'm talking about, okay? So I was set, set to do this little commercial and I go do the commercial, I meet some really cool people on set and most of the time at the end of that job, that's when they give you check, check or cash or cash app you or whatever if it's just a little rinky dink gig or whatever. So at the end of the little gig, we're all scratching our heads and everybody I'm on set with is afraid to ask, hey, wh where's our money? I'm not. I ask the guy, hey, where's our money? Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna send it to you. Don't worry about it. So I said, okay, that's weird because I mean, what am I gonna do? Just live there and forget coming home to my children at the end of the day and, and protest for the little hundred dollars we were supposed to get. So anyway, I leave and, um, a couple days go by, still no money. So I kept reaching out. Hey, where's where's the money? Um, what's what's happening? The guy texts me, Oh, you're gonna get your money. Don't worry about it. And I said, Well, it's been it's been a couple days, so I am a little worried. And don't get me wrong, it's only it's it was only a hundred dollars, but that's not the point. So then he finally gets everybody their money. Everybody else was afraid to reach out and ask because they didn't want to ruffle any feathers or ruin any opportunities that the guy might have had in the future. Now, mind you, he is not fucking uh, Ava DuVernay. Okay, it was a little, you know, rinky deep commercial for a little company. Um, so he finally sends the money and then he cuts me from the commercial. So, you know... In certain industries, when you stand up for yourself, you risk your hard work being just thrown in the trash because they have the power to do that. You risk people not talking to you. <clears throat> you risk getting the reputation of being difficult. This is why when they call a woman difficult, especially a black woman difficult, I want to know the whole story because I have been labeled difficult for asking for what was rightfully mine. Ain't that a bitch? But I have learned in my life that I would rather you not like me. I would rather you not work with me anymore. I would rather you tell people that I am a bitch than to think you're going to play in my face. At the end of the day, you can say whatever you want to, but I still got my money. I may have gotten cut from the commercial. That company may never work with me again. But that also lets me know that they have people who they can use and take advantage of who are okay with it, who are not saying anything, you know, and that's that's fine for them. But I have always been a firm believer in advocating for myself. 
I don't care who, who that pisses off. And I can be respectful about it. I, I'm not going to cuss, you know, cuss anybody out unless you get in my face, you know, trying to be uh, acting crazy. But I'm always going to advocate for myself. And I've always taught my children that. Don't let people play in your face. Because you'd be surprised how many people are actually really big actors where contracts are actually involved. And they let so, so much stuff slide because they're afraid to say something. And that's just not ever going to be who I am. It's like a it's like a default factory setting within me. When something's not right, I'm going to say something about it. Okay, you can't help me. Well, let me talk to the next person above you. Because you're not going to take advantage of me. You can cut me from your commercial. You can say whatever you want. But the money is still going to be in my bank account.